Sorry, I'm late. I was watching Avatar The Last Airbender. The TV show, not the movie. Ha, ah, I'm Austin. And this is Late Starters. But, dude, you were watching Avatar? Yeah, yeah, I finally started it. I haven't watched it before now. Did you... What about when the ice breaks? <laughs> Between the characters that, and they meet that each one, other. Oh, I was going to say, that one time when the ice breaks... And somebody walks Shaka, out. Shaka, at the wall. <laughs> hey, do you, can you, that's crazy, right? The literal breaking of the ice is when the characters meet. That's fucking insane, right? Do no, you lost it? I feel Dude. like, I feel like somebody did that bit a long time ago. Oh. In uh, this thing I was watching called the Gilda Granddaughters. Mm. I feel like that was mm. a thing there. Dude, yeah. speaking of Guild of Granddaughters. Avatar just copied that. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. Of course. Yeah. Speaking of Guild of Granddaughters, we did that back in March. Yeah. <laughs> nice oh, save. I hope you guys liked it. That was fucking great. Yeah. Hope you had a good time. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that, that one thing happened. Yeah, and then... dude. The... Tweet your favorite moment at D and D P O D. Why? I don't know. T- uh, actually, yeah. Nate, give us your, tell us what your favorite moment was from that that you were just talking about. Oh man, the best thing was when um oh god, you remember that one thing? Nope. Uh, uh, nope. Then, tell me. Oh, uh, then then and then what's her name was like five, ah, and then there was oh. all of the stuff, and then, ah, and then I think it was I, crazy. It was so crazy. Oh shit! But my favorite part yeah. was the, the person they got to play little Alex. Yeah. Yeah, she was, was cool. great. Yeah, the actor we hired to play me <laughs> playing a different character. It's yeah. this guy. Nobody knows him. His name's Alex Horn. Nobody's heard of him. We got him <laughs> to play me. Dude, remember? Remember? Yeah. Got... Yeah, Austin. Dude, Chunks is so cute. Yeah, Whoa, sorry, what did you remember? I'm sorry, Posey's... I missed that. What did you, What did you remember? I like it when Posey gets angry because she's so cute. I, I love it when Austin misfires. Dude. Like the brain just isn't working on all eight, you know. Just yeah. the segues are good. <laughs> That's what we call him the Paul Blart of D and D podcast. Ah, watch this segue. Ha. <laughs> Star wipe. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait All right. a minute. All right, fine. I Watch won't this. get to it. You can't because you have to tell us where the recap goes, which is the segue I was expecting. What recap? This one? Okay, so last time uh, we were standing in that courtyard and we had just heard a voice coming out from behind the hedge. Ford went to go check it out. And it, you guys, it was a it was a Persian, like a Pokemon, and it was talking. Like, what the heck? And, and and then the Persian said something and, and all the smoke started appearing in the maze. Um, so so the bird Pokemon start trying to blow it away. Uh, I sent spoons after the Persian and, and Mau Mau joined him. Uh, and then the, the green haired girl started running away from the other guy. I, you know, I can never remember that guy's name. Anyway, uh, Chonks and Posey started just wailing on him, just beating him up. Uh, so Lord Vambrace took off after the green-haired girl, and she got away and, and ran into the smoke. And, I, I listen, I, I kind of lost the thread a little bit there. There was, like, scuffling, and, and Callan was setting up a dating profile for, for Jason. Uh, and, and, and finally, Ford was like, hey, hey Persian, did, tell us what you know. And, and the Persian was like, okay, but, but uh, we gotta do a ceasefire. Uh, so I guess the, the green-haired girl escaped, and, and we all kind of sat down at that point, and, and the Persian basically said that Justin and, and the girl were being mind-controlled by the hypno that we ran into back at the cave, and that some knocked owls flew them over to the Vambrace estate, and they were just, I guess, victims to whatever the weird cloaked people were doing. So at that point, I, I show the Persian the list that, that we found, and he tells us that it was the girls, but he doesn't know much about it. The Persian wanted to take Jimmy with him and didn't really care so much about the other girl, but uh, Jimmy agreed to 
come back to the Vambrace estate to be questioned. So as we're heading back there, uh, Ford found this box on the ground and inside it was this weird looking stone and I guess it belongs to the Duke, Vambrace, um, but the weirdest thing was that all the Pokemon around started having weird reactions to this stone. So like, I don't know what's up with that. So I guess just another question to ask when we get back to the estate. Oh, that was pretty good, though. <laughs> that was pretty <Okay>. good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, I feel good about that. <laughs> that was it's very good. It's coming so hard, though. Like... <laughs> All right. Oh, How do we do this? Okay. We already did our recap, so we can go into it. As you are... Uh, <laughs> As you all <coughs> shut up a shit. Hi, I'm Austin. This is Dungeons Dragons. <laughs> what? Did I say that? Oh fuck. No. No. Are we streaming right now? What? Austin Austin just did the best VAR impression though. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Casey, I looked down and there was a red circle over the OBS, but it was uh -huh. just recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, no. As you all exit the maze, you see the uh, Van Brace estate in front of you. Um, and as you guys come out, uh, Mau Mau, he plucks a berry off of the hedge and pops it into his mouth and uh, chonks watch as, watches as he does that. And then she does the same. Grabs a berry, pops it in her mouth. Posey, though. She thinks nobody's looking at her. But Ford, you notice out of the corner of your eye. She grabs one, too. Eats it. Spoons doesn't hide it at all. He takes a bite of one and immediately spits it out and is right back um, hanging on to Victor's collar floating. He doesn't. He doesn't like it. Um, as you guys exit, walking uh, into the courtyard from the estate, you see the Duke. And he's flanked by two uh, men dressed in knights with phalanx styled helmets. Um... Touche swoops around out of the sky and lands next to him, and they approach. Hello, father. Ah, my son. Wait a minute. Casey's got this one handled if you want a line for the two. Yeah. Hello. What's the line? I'll repeat it. Oh, do I need to come in with a hello there? Damn, that's what I needed. Hello there. I need to hear that. Do some more, Nate. Hello there. Hello there. That's all I got. How are you? You are a bold one. Son, you've made it, and my, my touche is back with me. Hello there. Yes. I got to know what Casey's line was, though. I'm curious. It's a little bit funny, <laughs> this feeling inside. That's my line. Okay. That's a headache. <laughs> no, that's a Moulin Rouge oh. joke. <laughs> oh, right. Which you and McGregor's also in. It's all kind of mm. oh. The threads. And I thought Moulin. Moulin Rouge. Let's get down to business. You and McGregor's not in that. Well, is Yet. he? Yet. Well, he he plays Cricky. Uh, yes, you found Touche. All of you. Uh, thank you so much. I'm extremely grateful. Here, here. Please, please, let me compensate you all. I know your Pokemon trainers and journeys can just become quite expensive. Wait a minute. Hello there. I know a Pokemon journey can become quite expensive and uh, would delight me if you let me pay my good fortune forward. Please, I insist. Dinner as well and a bed if you need it. So, yeah, we we found your touche, um, but I need Excuse to me? ask you a question. We we also found this this primal stone. Yes. And oh. I, yeah, and and you know, Paul over there, he said you're just keeping it for decoration, and I was wondering if I could borrow it for a little while. Of I, of course, I'll bring it back. But uh, may I see it? 
Uh, uh, yeah, sure. No. Sure, sure. Oh, what? What? No, are we? Wait, we're doing that. <laughs> Look, I would. Do you want this money first? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that too. I. Uh, he hands you each um, an envelope, <laughs> and in these, they're pretty thick. Uh, Forty-five hundred poker bucks a piece. Hey, does anybody open that right away and see that? Uh, no, Ford doesn't. Ford goes just sticks it right into his back pocket. Okay, cool. Surely Callan would, if anybody. Callan immediately sees the envelope, sees Litwick, and is like. Ah, <laughs> like I can set this on fire. Uh, so yeah, she'll she'll approach Litwick and be like <laughs> to light the edge of the envelope on fire. Ford grabs the envelope real quick, Litwick's takes the money out, and then gives the envelope hey, back, hey. To, back to Callan. <laughs> so that she can light the envelope on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, Paul is like bustling what's his name over to the one of the guards. Hey, man, I'll go peacefully. This is one of the uh, people we found in the in the labyrinth. We, I'm not sure if he's connected with the disappearance of Touche, but uh, we should question him. He says that he'll cooperate. Yeah, well, yeah. what do you guys need? Uh, have you all already questioned him? We didn't find out much. Uh, it could be that uh, these three also have some information that may be useful. Jed will say, I don't... I don't... three! These two uh, <laughs> might be helpful. Hey, I don't, I don't know how I got in there. I, I just woke up in there. Um, and I don't know who those other Pokemon were... Came. I've heard of talking stories of Pokemon that could talk, but that's the first one I've, I've ever seen do it. Pokemon that can talk. Like, literally all of them talk, except Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur can't talk? No, most Bulbasaur can, but we know one that can't. But uh, oh. anyways, they all, like, come on, they all talk. They can't, You can hear them, they say things, and, like, Callan's, like, gesturing at Chonks, like, you, they say things I all think, the time. Yeah. I think, Callan, I, I think, I think they're talking about sentences. Cha-cha, cha Like, cha. like full, full yeah, sentences. Yeah, Callan's just gesturing. <laughs> Tell them full dial. sentences. Tell them dial rose her eyes. They're okay. cozy. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, he goes back to focusing on the the stone. Ford does. Like, he's not even listening about the questioning. Well, the Duke's now looking at Jet. Like, and as he's questioning. But uh, he looks he looks to you, Ford, as he, like, sees you look back to him. And he'll say, um, I, yes, I, that primal stone. Um, let me finish talking to this boy, and then I will explain that to you. And he looks back to Jet, and he says, well... What do you know? What were you trying to steal? My, uh, my Aegea Slash? My Farfetch'd? Or just this Primal Stone? Is that all you got? And he said, look, we, I don't know what happened in here. We were going to steal some Pokemon, I'll admit it. I, but not from you, Duke. Uh, we were going to take this Dragonair near Fuchsia City. Uh... She told me it was being mistreated. I don't know. Beaten. And and that made me... You know. I don't know if I like you or not anymore. Because the first when you were stealing him, I was not on your side. But now it's mistreated and I'm kind of on your side. Can you just yeah. give me like the cliff notes of whether or not I should like you as a person? Well, um, Leo, um, I like... I like... I don't eat I'm a, I don't eat Pokemon, but I'll eat Pokemon adjacent things like huh? What? You know, like what? What is a Pokemon adjacent you thing? You know, there's like an ice cream one and he can make you he can give you some ice cream and it's not technically him. 
Okay. Flam, like flam milk bag. from a milk tank. So then what do we do yeah. about you being a Leo? Like, what the fuck there? I don't know. What do you... It, some people look into that. Like a soul galeo? Yeah. So, huh? I don't think you are. Oh, not a lit Leo. Are you quite all right? Yeah, look. Hey. What do you want me to do? I told you. I, I'm going to go rescue this dragon there. Even if she's not with me, I'm going to go check it out. I already got a flight booked in Pewter City. Five days from now. Why five days from now? You're just going to let him be abused for five whole days? What do you want me to do? Run there? Better? I'm, it takes three days to get to Pewter City. Wait, so let me get this straight. You, you and that that lady were going to go rescue a dragoner because she told you it was abused. Yeah. Okay, well, did you also know she tried to steal my Abra, which is how I, Ford and I came across her? You can't trust her. He looks at Spoons and then looks back at you, looks back to Spoons and say, I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know that. Did you know that she was a ninja? Well, yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah, but I you mean, can't. You can't date her now. Well, it is kind of. It is kind of cool. Yeah. I. I mean, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, that's wrong. That she tried to steal your Pokemon. I agree, and I. That is not who she showed. That's not who she didn't show me. That person. I thought we were doing this for the good of, of for the Pokemon. Is she a part of any kind of organization or team or something, or is she just on her own? Well, she did have a list of Pokemon that she was going to. She said she was going to liberate, pretty much. Um, but I think someone gave her that list. I don't know who, though. And I swear, Duke, I know nothing about your stuff. I, I wasn't going to steal anything. I don't even know how I got in the maze. Spoons was... That's, that's clearly a lie, because Spoons was already super liberated when she tried to steal him. Yeah. He was, like, roaming free. And then he decided to come with us. He looks happy. I, she shouldn't have tried to steal it. I didn't. I didn't know. And I'll, if I do ever talk to her again, she was kind of rude when she left. But if I do ever talk to her again, I'll say something to her. I'll ask her about it. I don't know if she's still going to Fuchsia City, but I think I will. If, Alan's gonna walk over to Victor and start pulling stuff out of his pockets and bag. Wow. Looking for that what, list. What are you doing? Ah. It, the thing. You know you? the. Yeah, oh. the thing. It should, like, keep, like, pulling stuff out of your pocket. The, the oh, thing okay, that we okay, found. Okay. He's just, like, pulling stuff out of his pocket and, like, handing them to you. Like, what? What do you want? Yeah, once, once Victor pulls the list out, Calvin will grab it. This thing! Personal space. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so, this is the, the, is this, is the, and she'll, like, show what's his face uh the thing be like is this it this is the thing with all the pokemon As if you hand it to him he'll like look at the front she won't hand it to him she'll hold it out so he can see it okay are you like showing him the front of like the list yeah 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 yeah. yeah. he'll like grab your hand and turn it around to see the back of it and he'll be like oh yeah that's it i've never seen the the list but i've saw the back of that list a bunch of times and that's it okay well we see know this little ink stain right here alive. and he he points to it <laughs> Callan will like turn her head around to see where he's twisted her wrist to like look at the back of this thing. Mm -hmm. There's a little ink stain. All right, so you're super gonna. She was super gonna steal that dragoner. Like spoons was not in any abusive situation. What if she wasn't lying about the dragoner though? And what even if she was? She's still going to try to steal it, and she was trying to get Whoa, me to help okay. her. Okay, how far is the Dragonair from here? Uh, it's in Fuchsia City. That's a pretty far way away if you're traveling by foot. or You actually need to surf to get there, or a boat. Well, why don't, why don't we go there 
and try well, and beat her to the Dragonair. You guys are more than welcome to t to uh, hitch a ride on my flight with me. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's do it. All right, I'll be in Pewter City in five days. Five days? You said three? What is happening? It takes it takes you three days to get to Pewter City. My flight leaves in five. And then we're going. So many numbers. And then we're going to where again? Fuchsia City. Fuchsia City. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. If you guys won, if I can get there early, maybe I can try to persuade the guy to leave earlier. But I, he looks over towards the guards and to the Duke and to Paul. I'd have to go as soon as I can, though. Yeah. No, I'm. I yeah. Yeah, I I I trust George. We oh. need to let George go. It's yeah, Jet. George seems to know what's up. I'm yeah. Jet. Oh well, if this is Jet. All right, Jenny. We shouldn't let Jenny. He's an officer. <laughs> Jenny from the, the block. <laughs> you are from the block. A real <laughs> one. Uh, officer Jenny from the block. Hey, Paul. Paul. Yes. Son. Do yes, father? You trust these these three. These four? Three? Uh, these three. Well, these two for sure. <laughs> um, that one probably. <laughs> this one I just met and uh, did so I mean, essentially we, we had a we had a battle immediately. And not like a Pokemon battle, like a Yes. A fight. Like an actual battle. Yeah. That is... His... Did he order his Pokemon to attack you? No. Oh. You just... It may be a case of wrong place at wrong time, oh. but... Uh, I think if we could have him answer some questions, he should be free to go. Yes. Um, general questions. Do you have... What are your questions for him, Paul? We will ask him them first, and I will have my guards talk to him, and if he, everything clears out, I will set him on his way. No, no, not I, to the nothing for me specifically. Just, uh, you know, the guards need to cross-reference whatever information yes. they have with what they need, and if he has any of that information, then it may be of use. He, uh, your, your father looks up at you, and he has this gleam in his eyes, and he, he just looks proud, and he, he says, My boy, you will make yes? a great duke one day. Well, thank you, Papa. Yes. Come here. Hug me. It's awfully... Ah. There's people here, Father. Well, yes. All right. The, they... Love is... It's... They, it's, we should spread it. Yes? Helen is going to be standing behind the seat with Chonks, acting very formal now, like <laughs> mocking everything they're doing with Chonks. <laughs> she, yeah, she plays along, puts her nose up. Eh, cha, cha, man, da. Which is... Perfect, because Paul is very tall, and, and his <laughs> father is really short and fat, so, like... Ford, Ford's going to look at him and say, Love is brightest in the dark. Yes! That is, is exquisite! I saw that in a TV show. I will get that tattooed on me. Father? Yes? What a day. <laughs> it's an amazing day. I'm getting my first tattoo. A, bit, a duke never goes back on his word. Correct. Now, uh, the primal stone. Yes. After this, I will be off. I have, I have uh, preparations to make. Ah. Yes. You have to shave the area where you're going to get the tattoo. Yes. And yes. Find an appropriate artist. Do you know one, son? Choose a font. Oh yes. Comic Sans. It's papyrus. Comic, there you are. Comic Sans papyrus. I wonder if they will mix those. Oh. Get it in unknowns. That'd be nice. Yes, Brit. I've raised a ge. I've raised a genius who has found geniuses. You will so, lead the armies from now on, son. About the pri you have arm. You no. About the primal stone. Yes. Oh, yes. I found it some time ago in my journeys deep in the mines of Galar. Okay. Yes. He means so Gala. I... He just says it Gala. Gala. <laughs> it's sorry. Okay. It's from where well, 
It's the neighborhood I'm from. That's how we say it. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Gala. Gala. Is that where, is Gala, that where the, the Balrog lives? No. No. That's oh. Moria. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, so, is the Balrog a Pokemon? Never mind. Uh, yeah, can we borrow the Primal Stone? It is now. Oh, look. Uh, yes. You know, so, uh, he admires it from your hand. Uh, mm. Yes, some Pokemon act strangely to it now. You, you. Yeah. If it will help you solve your mysteries, please take it with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll right. do that. We'll, we'll, we're going to take it to some really smart people. You can return it when, whenever you're finished, right? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. I do have an army. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, how many people though? Like, legitimately, we how we many? We don't people? have an army. I. I well, don't know why he's saying got, these things. He's got there's guards. Two, at least. I, yeah, he's got guards, so that's listen, kind of an army. Should we, like, just, I have another question. Or something. <laughs> no, I, I, wow. but hang on. Yes? I, like, so do you have, like, a kind of, like, ponyta section of this army? Like, oh, mounted. A mounted prowess. Uh -huh. uh, I do not know. Unfortunately, right, the funds so run out at the gods. We didn't have any more money for rapid ash or ponytail. That, that's your definition of an army? You have to have yeah. a budget? Stuff to ride? Yeah, if you don't have, like, people riding Pokemon to battle, like, you don't even have an army. You have a bunch of dudes. A bunch of dudes is an army. <laughs> Not if they don't have ponytail. That is, I w that is my next goal. Outfit a my bunch of dudes? Troop Why? With Ponyta. Why are you trying to get him to raise an army? It's happening. <laughs> I thought he had one. Just in case we need one, I understand. You have wrong about this one, Paul. Oh, she is to be trusted. I would I... medieval on everyone's asses. <laughs> Listen. Hey, you call me you up when you down. have those it's guys. It's getting late. <laughs> no, no, no. You call me up when you have those guys on Ponyta. You yes. let me know. If you... Do you think you could keep a lookout for some pony top for me? Some, that way, if there is any in the wild, I may acquire their services. Callan is going to say, I have a secret for you. And she's going to fully yes. put her arm around the Duke, lean oh. in super close, and be like, I'm always looking for pony top. Oh, another genius. Ah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Uh, please take care of my stone, Ford. Is yep, it? absolutely, absolutely. Uh, We've been keeping an egg for a while too, so oh. if we can, if we can keep an egg, we can keep a stone. Speaking of the egg, uh, Chonks is like after you all have finished like your mock mockumentary. He, uh, she is now hugging the egg, like just hanging on wherever you have it, just hugging on the egg and leaning on you. Chonks is. Yeah. Sports gonna look at Cal and be like, "Is that gonna? Is that gonna? Is that?" That's going to boil the egg, right? Like, that's how you get boiled egg? No. That's how you keep it warm. It's literal fire. Not on the egg. I'm just saying. Chunks moves Gotta... her tail away a little bit. <laughs> uh, funny thing, when I first found that stone, it was uh, a pulsating. Uh, really? Like a glow, yes. It's never done it since, but... Maybe something to keep in mind. Maybe. Oh, father, not the old pulsating primal stone oh. story again. You it's such a bore. You're right. Uh, it's one of my greatest accomplishments, other than these two. And he <laughs> hugs Touche and on guard, brings him in. Uh, and as like, He's he... just, like Paul's just behind him, like with the anime, like black, <laughs> black face. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well. As it's, it's getting late. It's like mid-afternoon. I must get in, inside and get my rest. Um, uh, again, thank you all very much. Do, do you all have any more questions before I go? Um, no. He looks to Victor. Uh, thanks for the money. Are, are, you, yes. are you sure? Do you want this back, actually? No, like, no. I, I've... I just feel weird about it. This is a Pokemon... Trainer, uh, makes money as they go, and we would, I would be amiss if I didn't, if I didn't, uh, share my good fortunes with you. Okay. 
Thanks. It's nothing but dimes a dozen to me, that much money, you know. Uh, and how about you? Yeah, I. so you said a duke always keeps his word, right? Yes. Well, my son said that, but yes, he, it is true. I will always keep my word. Yeah, well, there was still no corn in that maze at all. Did you, maybe you just didn't find it. Mm, I We found, like, all of it, so you I'm found pretty sure all we know. Of the corn. We found all the maize. We didn't find any corn. Maize. Uh, exactly. I, God. I will make sure that is finished, but I'm pretty... If you look hard enough, there I'm pro there's probably some corn in there somewhere. It, can I... I can don't I, know. <laughs> can I just point out that Ford still has all of Callan's money? Yes. In his pocket. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. That was that was an end game. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Duke. I just wanted to make sure that Alex knew that. Yes. Uh... <laughs> sorry, Duke. Not crossing yeah. the streams at all. <laughs> sorry, Duke. Alex needs to know I robbed her. <laughs> uh, protected. Protected. You were about to set your money on fire. Protected. Yeah. Paul I had an envelope and a Litwick. <laughs> that envelope's gone, by the way. It's ashes. <laughs> Paul, I will, um, I will go and take my nap. Uh, please show our friends a good time. Feed them if they need a place to stay. You know, take them to the guest corridor. <laughs> okay, Father. All right. Uh, have a good nap and uh, enjoy your tattoo appointment later. Yes, yes, as soon as I wake. Okay. Is this the good guest corridor or the bad guest corridor? This is not. We, the we only have the one. We have oh, okay. the dungeon. That <laughs> is a guest guest corridor. We don't. We don't have a dungeon. Oh, oh come on, <laughs> Charles. I'm very. Sorry. Ralphie, let the boy go. Come. Ralphie. The Ralphie. Two, the two guards. <laughs> okay. Walk. Walk away. Thought he couldn't remember my name. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and he takes them inside. Okay. Chet leaves. Bye, Khaled. Bye, new people. Victor. Ford. See you in a few days, Jimbo. Yeah. What, Jet? Damn it! <laughs> Grumbling as he walks off. <laughs> so, dinner. Yeah. Let's do right, that. Well. And uh, Paul will just sort of lead them up towards the estate. Um, on the way, I guess, he'll uh, make some small talk by way of asking, um, so, has anyone here heard of the uh, World uh, World Championship? Coronation. I forgot what it's called. World, World Coronation Series? Um. Uh, y yeah. Looks at Victor and Callan for support. Callan is have fully we... not paying attention to you. She is <laughs> Victor, putting, Victor, she is the egg. <laughs> She's Victor, fucking with it. We know what that is, right, Victor? Uh, I've, I've heard of it. Don't know much about it. Oh, yeah, why don't you tell Victor about it? Because Victor <laughs> doesn't know much about it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let Victor know. Yes, of course. Uh, well, it's only, you know, the largest... Uh, Pokemon battling uh, sort of uh, competition in the world. Yeah, that's what, what? I was going to say. Yeah, uh, well, um, if any of you are interested in uh, competing ever, of course I could uh, extend you an invitation. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to do that. Um, uh, bef before dinner, if you like, uh, you know, there's still a little while, uh, we could just have a, a little friendly competition uh, between ourselves and uh, our Pokemon and see, uh, you know, if if you're up to it. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to, yeah. Right. Callan? Right. Victor? Yeah. What? Do you also want to do this, or? Do, What? Do what? Yep. The the uh, he's talking about the World Coronation Series, Callan. Try and keep up. The it's thing not we all know here. a ton about. Yeah, it's like a oh, it's not. No, 
this is no. his backyard. What are you talking about? Oh, I thought it. Um, yeah, that's what I meant. This is backyard. Oh, yes, of course. Just like a but, practice. Uh, because I'm a placed competitor in the World Coronation Series, I can, of course, extend invitations uh, to those that I feel are adequate. Yeah, invitations. Oh, you want to fight? Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure I'll fight you. I thought you were trying to say we were there, and, like, we're not. No, I was just saying invitations. Nope. Never said that. This could be backyard, not front yard. Is there a sidewalk here? Yep, backyard Pokemon League. There are pathways everywhere. They are, in fact, part of the yard. Hell yeah, this is definitely a yard, then. Let's do this. That said, there's actually a, a, a main thoroughfare out front, and that belongs to, of course, the county. Oh, you're talking about the, the, the walk on the What side? even is a thoroughfare? The place oh, where people uh, it's, go. it's a long walk up along the side of the road. So you what might does call the fair look like when it's walk. not thorough? Incomplete. Uh, right, yes. Incomplete. All right, let's see your incomplete fare then, I guess. So, for instance, our groundskeeper has to take care of the grass on both sides of the sidewalk, even though we do not own the grass closer to the Ten main minutes road. ago, it's we own everything the light touches, and now we're here and it's we don't own this particular patch of grass. I did not say that. I don't think I ever said that. Those words. Chonk. Chonks remembers. That was Berserker. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. He hasn't been in the anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so, so wait, um, are we gonna are we gonna do this before we eat? Yes, we've still got about an hour. He oh. says, checking a spot on his wrist where there might be a wristwatch. Okay, okay. So, uh, I mean... And then pulling out a pocket watch. Got to draw batteries on your wrist. So, uh, I immediately look at Victor and I say, is this... Do we do this one at a time? What do you know about this? Is this what we do? Mm. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, so it's one at a time. Mm. Okay, all right. I want to go. Paul leads you it. all to a, a very well-manicured, like, large circle that's clearly got... Um, I mean, this is a Pokemon battle training area. But is it owned by the county or you? The Duke. Uh, the Duke owns this. Because it's within the Duke's property. The duchy, it. as it were. It's a yard. I absolutely love that. The no, argument. this is a... Well, it's a courtyard. So, yes, you're in, in, in a way right. The argument has made its way here. I'm, I'm Did so you call it the argument? The argument, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Hashtag argument. <laughs> Team, team sidewalk versus team all grass. I don't know. As as you all are um, making your way to the space that uh, Paul's let you all know about, like the battlefield, um, Mau Mau is eating a uh, one of those berries still, and Pidgey flies in, grabs the berry, takes off with it, and Mau Mau uh, chases after him. Wow, pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they, Sorry. like, run off around the building. Um, All right, Chunks, guess this is up to you now. Uh, I am missing Aaron. Uh, he's. In, I'm only putting the ones that you all had out of your Pokeballs. If you want to take more out, I can put them on. Yeah, I, I actually would rather put Rattata up right now and... Have Aaron out. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I don't have to have them out before I do this, do I? I can, uh, I can call them. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, my dude just left, so. Him's like, I got to do D and D rules. I have to prepare my Pokemon yeah, before I, I can do my magic battle. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought we would have to have them. I can only choose two Pokemon for the day. And I can only cast them at third level. You have to do a long rest on your Pokemon. <laughs> oh, which Pokemon have I prepared for today? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> so, 
So is Mau Mau gone? Like what happened? Uh, yeah, they <laughs> Mau Mau's <laughs> fucking gone. Uh, he fucking chased nope, Pidgey <laughs> around the corner. All right. All right. I'll like watch that happen and go. All right, well, and pulls a uh, Ponyard's ball from his from his belt. All right. And he'll just okay. sort of toss it very uh, snobby like out onto the. <laughs> Uh, so, from, um, like, in, under, like, where your, I guess your robes meet, like, your body, out comes a little phone, uh, droid, um, a Rotom phone, and it, uh, flies up into the air, and it says, uh, this will be an official battle, um, and he, the Rotom looks towards you. Paul, and it says, uh, any special rules? No, of course not. How many Pokemon? I think one each is fine. One Pokemon apiece uh, will be used by each trainer. Shit, I should have had something wrote for this. I do somewhere, but I'm not looking okay. it up. I'm doing something else. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over to Coach Victor. And I'm going to be like, okay, when they say one Pokemon, does that mean only one at a time, or you only get one, like, like at all? Uh, I think I think it's just one-on-one. -on -one. You only get one. Okay, all right. So no calling another one. Uh, I'm, I might clarify that, clarify that, but yeah, I think so. Okay. Can Paul hear this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, we could make it two if you like. Oh, uh, mm, mm, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do two. Two? Uh, two. Very well. Okay. It's two, then, he says to the Rotom. Uh, Roton. Each trainer will use two Pokemon in this battle. Okay. And then looks back at Victor. Paul is now. Like, and this one even more quietly so that nobody will hear. It's only one at a time, though, right? Um, I think I lost the thread somewhere. <laughs> Single or double battle? Oh, wait, oh, uh, I think they're asking time. him right now. One one at a time. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. All they right. just answered my question. Okay. okay. We're good. I'm going to go now. Okay. Okay, bye. Good luck. Run, runs back over to Posey. It's like, okay. And then he's going to lean down and whisper some stuff into Posey's ear. No, oh, no. Um, here, you all want to move down here? Yeah. Uh, your Pokemon can start up to six squares from this line. So one of the rules is actually uh, both challengers must send out their first Pokemon at the same time. So Paul didn't launch Ponyard yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But the 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 things as like I just lean down to to Posey and I'm like, you know, you know that you can beat anybody, right? You know you're like the best around, right? Like you, you're right. gonna, yeah. You, so 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 get him. Her arms crossed. She looks over at you. Roll me a charm roll. Okay. A charm roll. Fifteen. She looks at you. And like when you say that. You see her eye gleam a little bit. Yeah. And then she <laughs> shakes it. Toto die. Looks yeah. to the battlefield and just uncrosses her arms. Widens her stance. Uh, Paul? Yes? Is there anything else you want to do before the battle starts? Um, yes, Paul uh, puts his head with ponytail. Uh, and then the Rotom says, uh, you may now begin the battle. And we'll do some initiative. Okay. Let's see if I can do it right. See if I can find it at all. Yeah, that's the challenge. You're in it. There it is. I did it. 
and also Ford and yeah. Uh, Paul. Pow. We're gonna go over a few new rules, but it Dude, it will be okay. It's the first time everybody got it right. Hell yeah. Well, it's because there was only two of us. <laughs> so Pros. far, yeah. Uh, so trainers always go first in trainer battles. Um, okay. and how you go first is whoever is slowest goes first. They announce what they're going to do. And then the other person gets to hear that information. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. So you got to kind of tip your hand first. Mm -hmm. So oh, well, that makes sense. Ford <laughs> is up first. And basically you're going to announce, you're going to tell Posey what, what she's supposed to do. Okay, you said I could move six squares. Uh, yeah, she can. She can start six squares from this line. Okay, so she she she'll be in attacking range, right? Uh, for six or does that does that count as my first move? No, move six this squares? is where you'd start. And when you throw Ponyard out, which you'll have to throw him out the battle. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you want to describe that, you can go ahead and do it. Sure. Um. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell Posey to do is to let's do scratch okay and then so uh yeah for you yell you yell out mm -hmm. to posey the scratch in uh what about you lord paul lord van brace um paul uh licks his <laughs> like this <laughs> the pokeball out and Ponyard uh, goes flying, and he goes, Just take the first hit. Use Leer. All right. So this is, yeah, that's uh, as far as they can get out. And now he can move. So Ponyard, Pon, Ponyard's up now. So Ponyard uses Leer. Is there a distance on that? Like a range? What's um, the range? Cone 2. So you'll have to move up to, to be able to hit. Uh, Posey. Oh, how how much can I move? Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then what's Ponard's uh overland speed? Did I miscount? Could I not throw him as far as I thought? Uh, just six squares from this line. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so he would be right here. Okay. Yeah, there was like a partial square there. Uh, uh his overland is five. So he can move five squares. And yeah, One, that'll two, get him three, up close four. to Posey. But the cone I'm is going to put him right next to Posey. Cone is a two, so he doesn't have to get next to her to do it. He can hit it from two squares away. I'll show you like All what right, a I'll cone looks like. Uh, what a cone looks like, Austin. <laughs> well, for, I've seen him. For the rules, you know, it's like this is a two foot cone. It would hit like this. Gotcha. Uh, All right, so I'll put him there, and then I'm going to use Lear. Yep, you hit the top dice for it. Pow! Does a three hit uh, Posey's evasion? Uh, yeah, probably. Because I don't think she has a three in anything. Hang on, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, evasion. Be special evasion, right? No. No, when would it? Where is evasion at? I know I'm having a trouble finding it. It's up at the top somewhere. It's up. Oh, it's top listed right. under evasions. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. No, it's yeah. It's not three. So this, uh, what's Lear look like? Uh, the Parnyard just pops out of the ball and just brandishes its its like little blades arms and goes and growls a little bit. <laughs> it takes Posey by surprise. You see, ah, da da da. And uh, Posey's defense is lowered by one combat stage. So on her sheet, you'll see... Um, let me actually pull it up so I don't tell you wrong. Uh, defense is... Okay. Uh, so where it says stages, you'll, yeah. just, you'll just move defense down one, and it'll take care of all the math for you after you do that. Okay, cool. They got it. Next up is Posey, and she moves... She, she has to move forward to scratch him if she can. Yes. That was her. So she will move here. Right? Mm -hmm. And then she will scratch. Uh, 
uh, uh four yeah. hit pawn art. Fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that hits. So, uh, whatever your full defense score is, this is normal, right? Yeah. Oh, full defense? Yeah, whatever okay, your, I got you. your defense is, you subtract that from the damage, and you, then you take that much damage. So if your defense is a 9, it would minus 9, and you would take 10. Does that make sense? Out of the HP? No, out of the 19 that I... Yes, yes, yes out of your HP. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, top of the round. So it's back to the trainers. Uh, does Ford t is that just on the initial one, or do I have to announce it every time? Yep, yeah, every every time between trainer battles, we might do it different if it's me doing being the trainers. But to keep it fair between trainer versus guest, we're we're gonna run like these. Yeah, rules. that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. Also, though, on your turn, you can use like. Sometimes you have orders and stuff that you can give. You can do that on your turn. You just have to announce what the Pokemon is going to do as well. Um, I think... Uh, what kind of Pokemon am I fighting? You do not know. I do not know. You can, okay. use, you can use your Pokedex to find out. I don't think I have that one in the Pokedex yet. Oh! Uh, yeah. You can, like... That's what it does. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I, that's a good point. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll tell uh, Posey to scratch again while I'm snapping a photo of it. All right. You pull out the uh, Pokedex, and as you snap your photo, uh, you see a picture of the Pokemon come up, uh, and it says, Shit. This always happens. That's what it says when it's buffering. It says, <laughs> shit, shit. God damn it. A little thing, a little Pokeball is spinning on the screen. Do you know Actually, how much I would love a computer that did that when it was buffering? <laughs> Just like, I, oh shit, hold on, hold on, I'll get there. You you pull Most. up the app, and it uh -huh. does it uh, does have a spinning Pokeball, and it says updating. Ah. Uh, you, you see a line. Um, that's we'll, awful. We'll get back to you. We'll get back. Dang to it. <laughs> Uh, while I look up <laughs> what I need to look up. Yeah. Uh, so did you, you already did declare what Posey was going to yeah, do? Yeah, scratch again. Okay. Uh, and Paul, you're up. Ponyard, use Fury Cutter. Yeah! All right, Ponyard goes first. As it starts using Fury Cutter. The uh, Pokedex, bing, finishes. And it has a new voice, a female voice. And it says, hey, this is where you cut out and take notes, whoever's, <laughs> whoever's doing this. Uh, <laughs> Ponard, the sharp blade Pokemon. A steel type. Blades comprise this Pokemon's entire body. If battling dulls the blades. It sharpens them on stones by the river. Okay. I think I got what I needed out of that. And now it, uh... So, do, a 17... That's a crit. I thought a crit. That's a crit. Uh, did it? I can't see the... They aren't public. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. It's alright, I can see it. Um, but yeah... I mean, that is up to you, Nate, if you want to make them public or not. To do it, you just go to the top of the sheen. I did. I already did it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just thought that it was already... I didn't realize it wasn't. So, yeah, I rolled a 17, but it's got a green box around it. So, it says damage 26, crit 8. So, I guess, is that 34 total? Is that what that means? Yes. Yikes. 34 minus your defense, though. Right. Um, okay. And I guess we should look at type advantages. I forgot to do that for the last one. Um, I think steel does normal against water and fire types. I don't know if bug. That's spoons is fighting. He is bug. That's right. 
Bug versus water does nothing. Oh, wait. Water versus steel. Yeah, so... That minus your defense. You got it, Ford? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got it. Next up is Posey. Uh, which I had already decided we were going to do Scratch again. So we will roll that real quick. Dang it. Posey swings in... Uh, she manages she as she can't get her arm all the way in because one of these blades are just right there uh in defense uh threatening to cut her arm if she gets too close um top of the round forward water gun Posey looks back to Ford and then stares her uh, her challenger in the eye and her cheeks fill up. Uh, Paul. Keep using Fairy Cutter. Roll it. Nah. Yeah, it's going to hit. Some uh, more blades come towards Posey. Uh, and you see, like, these little red slashes start appearing on her body. Um, Nate, for this damage, instead of taking that 26, go mm -hmm. to um, the damage base increases by 4 to a maximum of 16. So the number besides the DB, where it says DB on that move on Fury Cutter, yeah. chain, uh, add 4 to it. And then hit the, uh... Okay. If the number's gonna get bigger, then I'm gonna have to change Pokemon. Uh, you, then you may have to change Pokemon. Yeah, so why don't we just go ahead and do that and save Nate some math, because... Okay. Yeah. So well, I need to know how to do it, though. Okay. So, so when you hit consecutively, the damage base goes up, so you just increase that number by four. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. That's what you do. Every time it hits, you do that until the number is 16. And then you would just wouldn't it be damage. better to just hit the damage button again? Yeah, I didn't know. I was just explaining it. Let uh, me just do that. All right, so it's another twenty-four. An so it wouldn't 50 be another. Total. It it wouldn't be another. So no, no, no. I changed it back to four plus zero and just hit the damage button again. Yeah, that's not how you do it. You it's not going to work that way. Mm -mm. Okay. You increase that number to eight and then hit the damage button. Let me try that. Well, oh, okay. I guess it was 25. pretty close. Yeah. Uh, so that's the number. It would be 25. Instead of 26. Instead of 26. So Posey's good for one more round. No. Oh, no? No, no. So, no. Oh, okay. You, did you, would, you have, would she have been knocked out by the first 20, that 26 damage? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Posey's not that. Yeah. Uh, uh, as as these slashes, uh, all these little red streaks start to appear on Posey, you see, see her just ah, ah, die and fall back, and she's got the swirls in her eyes. Okay, uh, so do I need to wait? Toto or... Dial has been defeated. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'll just throw Aaron out there. Yeah, and you can recall Posey as okay. a free action. Uh, we'll take Posey off the board. And Aaron comes out. <laughs> Mankey. That's your ass, Mankey. <laughs> Mankey. <laughs> Mankey. <laughs> Mankey. <laughs> Gopers. All right. Okay. Uh, what's... Get out the podcast, Nate. <laughs> I don't. I don't accept that shit here. Get out of here. Oh, no, no, no gorsh. No goofy impressions here. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, Do you want to roll some initiative for Aaron? Okay. Sure. I sure. Mank can. Aaron. Hank Aaron. No, Mank Aaron. Mank Aaron. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. In. 
It me is gonna be right there. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're just starting over at the top of the order again, uh, or? Yes, but your action would have been out to throw out Mankey on your turn. Oh, okay. You, you can still give commands. Well, I still have to declare. Yeah. Right. For, okay. Uh, Fury swipes. All right. Uh, Aaron looks back to you, looks over across the field and locks eyes with Chonkmander, but then uh, looks forward at the enemy in front of him and clenches his fist. Mankey! Uh, Paul. Lord Vambrace. Oh, <laughs> Use Leia again. That worked well last time. And uh, Aaron charges forward to use Fury Swipes. Okay. Oh, he gets to go first now. I'm yeah. sorry. Yep. I'm with fast. you. I'm with you. This nope. is negative two hit? No, nope. fuck. Not going well. Why is that a minus five? Oh, uh, Ponard ducks under these swipes. Right there. Uh, Ponard's up. Ponyard kind of stumbles back, uh, after dodging all these and goes, Nah! And then just puts the blades up and tries to leer. It looks intimidating. Oh, shit, your damage is still up on Fury Swipes. We gotta put that down. I forgot what it was, though. I'll, hang on, I'll tell you. I was fucking scared, so that was like a bonus thing. Yeah, I was like, "God damn, one twenty-five! I can't, I can't soak that." Uh, Mikey is Pawn Stars or, is going down. <laughs> Aaron is taken by surprise as this uh, he misses this pawn yard and it just gets right back up in his face and squares back up. Uh, lower Aaron's yeah, I got defenses. It. Yeah, uh, back at the top of the round, Ford. Uh, Fury Swipes again. Right. I'm going to look up Fury Swipes so you can get the right damage. Uh, I kind of like where it's at. <laughs> I would too, bro. <laughs> Pretty dope That's right amazing. now. amazing. <laughs> oh, get off the screen. Uh... Except hit him this time, Aaron. Hit him, Aaron. I always picture Mankey's doing like Muay Thai. Like he's he's bouncing. He's got like the one knee up, like bouncing like that. You know? <laughs> uh, change that damage damage base to a three for the first attack. Change the damage base to a three. Yeah. Where do I change the damage base? The DB. Yeah, the DB. Sorry. The douchebag. The. Okay. The Draken beams. The Draken, the Draken beams. beams. Change the Draken okay. beams so it's on stun. Okay. Draken beams. beams. I mean, you should be good to row. Okay. There's a 12 hit. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's, well, what is this? Normal doesn't do anything against steel, I don't think. That's against, what's that against? I'm sorry. Let me make sure I know the uh, answer for sure. Your evasion. Oh, oh yeah. Fucking yeah. Pawn <laughs> yards don't really evade as <laughs> such. Oh, that's half damage. Normal attacks do half damage to steel. So, it's 17 halved, which makes it 8. And okay. minus your defense. So I'm healed by one? No. <laughs> no, no. You have to take a minimum of one damage. So, okay. if it is less than one, you take one. Done. Um... But it has five strike, so if you hit, you can hit that five strike button, Tim, in the chat, and it'll show okay. you how many more times you hit. Uh, whisper GM, no. Submit. Five. Okay. Oh, shit, you multiply the damage base. So put that back. Put your one back. Um, and what we're going to do is re remake the damage base 15. Okay. And then just roll your damage. Is it the middle dice or the the bottom one? Nate, you just uh, did it. Do you remember? Yeah, it's the bottom um, one. Right. It tells I you did, right yeah, there. so I would leave the, the first one as whatever it is and then just add the It, it multiplies the damage base, so it doesn't... It changes the amount of dice and stuff you roll. 
Okay, then you need to change the first number to whatever he just said. 15, I guess. Yeah. Was it 15 or 14? Uh, 15? What's the number it is right now? Uh, it was 3. You multiply it by 5, so it's 15. Yeah. So oh, 15. 15. I heard you wrong. Okay. Fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we're going to do that, and then we're going to roll damage. So, 50, so 53 halved is 26 minus your defense. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so Ponyard gets smacked in the face by Mankey and then just kind of like looks back. Yeah. And I don't even think that it has a mouth, but somehow it grins. And then Mankey just goes, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and Ponyard does like this, you know, like the movie villain <laughs> getting shot thing. Like, oh. And goes, Ugh. and tries to stay up on his feet. All right, top of the round. Ford, you just saw that happen. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely do it again. Nice. Oh, Ponard did Ponard go? Like... Ponard didn't go yet. I'm sorry. Did did Ponard Pon- Pon- go? Pon- did Ponard go? Did Ponard go? Ponard just go god goaded. He didn't go to Fury Cutter. Seventeen to hit. That's yeah, another that crit. Jeez. All right. Sorry, I don't know what to do when it's PvP. Do one hand. Oh, Sorry, bro. One hand All right, so up. what's I'm my rolling rocks tonight? What's my actual damage? Uh, it's th- 30, 33. Three minus uh, your defense. Minus well, your defense. Uh, and I'll yeah, I don't think bug is resisted. Uh, or oh, it's normal again. Let me double check the. Where'd it go? You idiot! Isn't fury swipe? That's not a fighting type. Um, maybe it is. I'll double check. And not normal? Your swipes is normal. Okay, okay. Uh, so attack is normal against steel, so it's halved, so... Oh, wait, no. So we did everything right. Other way around. It's attacking as bug against normal. Nothing. So, yeah, 33 minus your defense, sorry. One day, I'll have these type effective chart memorized and know <laughs> everything. Uh, top of the round, you you saw uh, Aaron get in all these hits, and then uh, Ponyard come right back with it. It seems to be a battle, an exchange of swipes and cuts. Yeah, it's Fury Swipes again. Nice. I'm, I'm a yellow Aaron. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> bell, yeah. Night. So roll it up. Oh, I get to go first. That's right. Uh, Paul's just going to shout, uh, Oh, yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Mikey. It's going, it's going great, buddy. 11 will hit, right? I didn't change the damage base. Was I supposed to? Um, Now you hit 5 strike, and then you'll change the damage base. Okay. Gotcha. 2, so you multiply it by 2, so 6. Okay, so... So do I take that 56? No. No. Okay. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. So fourteen minus your defense. And as Wait. Oh, because it's halved. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, then he's still up. Uh but I don't that was so fourteen minus your defense is the amount of damage you take. I already halved it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So yeah, he takes takes five. Yeah, so pop pop pop. Uh upon our Ponyard's um, looking rough. Mank- or Aaron's looking rough. Ponyard's up. Okay, yeah, it's Fury Cutter again. I already called it, so. 13. Yeah, that's going to probably do it. This furious battle. And I already changed the DB this time, so. Yeah, it's. That it's, damage should be accurate. It's yeah. done, then. Minky is done. 
And with that, um, as shards of Mankey's hair are falling down as um, he's battling back and forth with, with his poniard, you see he just, from exhaustion, drops to his knees and uh, just faints right there as poniard yeah, delivers the last strike to him. I'll recall him. And then I'll uh, I'll walk across to Paul, and I'll be like, that was, that was, uh, yeah, I definitely learned some stuff there. I got, uh, I got some stuff to work on. That was fantastically done, honestly. Uh, um, I would recommend probably leading with a, a water move when you're facing a steel opponent. Uh, I, I caught that. I caught that. Normal moves don't really work very well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll work on that. I appreciate it. It was fun, though. It was fun. Yeah. And then um, Paul's going to hand him a couple of uh, revives and potions and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, see, see to your friends. Uh, as I as I walk over to Callan and uh, and Victor, I just look at him and I'm like, I got my ass smoked. Damn, that was my that was my first like real battle, and I got drilled. I gotta. I don't. I. Try, I'm gonna go read the book. I mean, he's probably been doing this a lot longer than you have, so, I mean, yeah. it was a really good battle, though. Oh, it was, it was, it was ugly. Yeah, got taken behind the woodshed. Uh, who was next? Ponard and Paul, Lord Vambrace, are the winners. Like, as soon as it starts to announce it, I'm going to be like, shush. Ah. Uh. I think Victor's already started clapping a little bit, but kind of looking around <laughs> confused. Um, Callan's gonna look at Victor and be like, "You want to go next? You want me to go next? Mm -mm, you, you. Oh, uh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm out. <laughs> All right." Um, Paul um, recalls Ponyard real fast, applies potions <laughs> so that he's at full health, and then uh, oh, that was that was uh, actually what I was back about in his to pocket. Ask. I was about to ask Victor. I was gonna lean over and like, does he does he like get to like heal the Pokemon, or does he have to start from like? hurt, but I guess he just gave him a revive, so never mind. I didn't ask that question. I, I, forget it. It's over. I, ne I never heard it. <laughs> what question? Huh? <laughs> Callan, as you walk to your place, from behind you, you're and Pidgey comes down and lands on your shoulder. Uh, Paul, you hear I don't remember he doesn't. I've never been in the anime. don't know. Uh, and he's got a berry in his mouth, and he's walking up towards you. Hmm. Malmo, I don't know that I'll need you, but stay around, please. Don't go running off. Fair. And uh, Callan will kind of, when Pidgey lands on her shoulder, shoulder, shoulder she'll just kind of, like, tip her head over to, like, bop a little bit, and then be like... All right, Chonks, Pidgey, remember what we were working on, and she's going to apply focus training to both of them. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to move up. Do I, ha do, I, do, I tell, do I tell what I do? Well, roll initiative. Let's add who's going. Well, you don't tell who's this going. This doesn't first. have to be in turn order. This, is, this applies as long as I did focus training in the morning. Yeah. It doesn't have to be part of the battle. Cool. So I was just asking if I had to tell you which ones I was fucking with. Oh, you get to, a, yeah, it, well, you can apply it to both of them, right? Yeah, I can apply it to, it's the number of Pokemon, not, yeah. not things. And I just, as long as I don't do it to HP, that's all that matters, which is, you can't do it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And, well, you all, um, Cal and roll initiative first. You got it. I'm working on it. How do I undo out? mine? Uh, it'll be the same thing anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you all can choose your Pokemon. Um, the lead with this, this Cavalier this time. Lance. With chunks. Also, I forgot, Austin, that I was going to do something uh, with um, fucking Fury Cutter. Well, going to change its type. But I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, not now. Well, so you cannot heal. So, I know you gave him revives and stuff, and that was nice. 
but you mm-hmm. you can't heal your Pokemon in between battles unless you go take the time to do it. You don't have an infinite supply of revives and potions. Oh, uh, oh well, then that didn't happen. Uh, okay. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought that was uh, like normal. Mm-mm. Because you all are going okay. into the into the fight with the amount of hit points you had from the other battles. So like, if Litwick were in right now, she would have three hit points, or he would have three hit points, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does that does that change I anything you, you want to do? No. Okay. Uh, well, except that I don't remember what Ponyard was at because I already switched it back. Uh, but I just I may not be able to use him then because he's got like eight hit, hit points right now. Okay. Well, you and you can also choose a new two for this battle too. Like you, uh, pretty limited. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. I'm good. Totally good. All right. So who are you? Oh yeah. So if you want to roll initiative for Lance. Lance. Oof. All right. Slow boy. So, Callan, you announce first as your first action. We announce what we're going to do? Mm-hmm. Chunks. So I don't need to re-roll mine? Sorry to interrupt. But... No, no. The initiative will stay the same. It, it's just your speed. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if... Okay, that's fine. And hers is never going to be higher than 8.99. Yours will never be higher than 10. Lower than 10. So... You, okay. Yeah. Unless you change your stats. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. I was just doing some measuring. Uh, actually, Austin, I you gotta keep the haha nice in there. It's just uh, Callan nice. going haha nice. Five. Nice. Is it five? Because mm-hmm. it's from Chonks' square. Okay. Cool. And I started her there, though, so I still get my yep. movement, because you yep. can start six squares away. Perfect. Right. Um, great. Then, then uh, Chonks is... <laughs> we're going to burn this place to the ground. <laughs> nice. Chonks, uh, she leans back, and you see uh, her mouth start to smoke. Uh, Lord Pauldron, you're up. Or do, Does Callan have anything she wants to do as an action on her turn or anything? No, other than the general, come on, Chunks, let's burn this fucker to the ground. <laughs> and then Paul, Lord Van Brace. Back away at him. And then Chunks, as her mouth smokes. Oh, her. Peck away at her. <laughs> and then, poof, an ember releases. Roll it up. Nice. And for the record, Chunks did move in a little bit yeah. closer here. To make that ember work. Okay. A three to your evasion. Um, that'll beat it. Cool. And that's a type advantage. Too. Yes, it is. So you double the damage and then apply. Uh, so it's sixty-two minus your defense. Is that about? You didn't get for real. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, uh, okay. Someone help me with math. I'm not a math bitch. 62 What's your minus defense? 13. Yeah. 62 minus 13. 49? Thank you. 49? Is that right? I need um, someone to check it. I'm not a math bitch either. Six, 62 <laughs> minus 13? 49, yeah. Got it. Um, uh, uh, so, so Lance <laughs> is floating there with these two big things in the air. Just goes... And then goes back to the ball. <laughs> they went. Uh, Lance is no longer able to fight. Chunkmander is the winner. You need two? chunks. Yeah. Big flex. <laughs> um, Paul will throw out. Uh, well, I guess he won't throw anything out because Hone Edge is on his back and just floats out there. Hone Edge. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, will you please roll initiative for Hone Edge? Yep. Uh, 
Yep. Anytime. There it is. I didn't One click day. on the fucking thing. Uh, what was it? 4.08. All right. First, Callan. Declare your move as uh, you see this hone edge appear on the field. We swore to burn this place to the ground and we will use Ember yet again. Ja! And you see just cooking in her mouth. Uh, Paul. Vanbrae, Lord Vanbrace. Um, Hone Edge. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> I'll decide. Just stand by. You see it swing back and forth. Cut the wind. Swords dance. I right, flash through the air. All right, chunk up first. I. She gets. She moves forward, right? As she runs forward, the flame bursts yeah, yeah, yeah. out of her mouth. For a ten to hit. A ten oh, to yeah. hit. Honedge, That'll do it. Is Honedge steel as well? No. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's a fucking uh, sword. Oops. It's a fucking sword, mate. <laughs> uh, so that's 60 minus your defense, which is 47. Math bitch here. I'm back. Uh, it's, it's 48. Shit. I thought it was 13. So, so close to being a math bitch. Damn it. You flew too close to yeah, the math zone. did it. Been there, done that. And I... Um Bonage just falls over. And <laughs> Paul looks looks over at uh at Ford and goes, That's how you use type advantages. Cha Get it, Chunks! That was so good. She looks back to you eyes wide and uh runs as fast as she can as she waddles towards you, and as soon as she gets to you, she wraps her arms around Oh, you. I'm running towards her, too. Yeah. Arms well, out, ready to scoop her as soon as we get there. She can't run as fast as you, so she only makes it there, but you make it here. Pidgey flutters off of you as you run, and Liddy tries to keep up. Litwick tries to keep up. I don't know if you're in Liddy? <laughs> yeah, I'm calling him Liddy. Liddy tries and to Pidge keep up. try to keep up. <laughs> and I'll be like, sorry, Pidge, as, as I pick up Chonks, and Pidgey's kind of jostled off my head. <laughs> she flies in the air above you guys. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Hone Edge is no longer able to fight. Chalkmander is the winner. And Paul will clap very uh, sincerely. Yeah, I, I imagine Ford and Victor are probably doing like the little cheering section. Good like, job! Me! That's uh, the the cheering section is just like the redneck and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> y it's the, e the, w. the indoor I'm trying not to spike my mic cheering section. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Cal will just walk over there still holding chunks like with I assume with Liddy in tow and, and Pidge like and she'll just like walk back over to the bench. Well, Victor, uh I'll be happy to give you a battle. It may not be much of one. Ah, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I, I would appreciate a, a bone, maybe, take it easy on me. Um, this is just like a friendly sort of battle, and, and this is, doesn't mean anything about anything out, outside of this space. Okay, um, hey guys, uh, you, you guys want to battle? Sort of does, but, uh... uh, Spoons looks to you, then looks over towards Paul, kind of floats beside you. Uh, he starts... Is it a he or she? A she. Uh, she starts running around you and also faces towards the uh, the battlefield. I, okay. Um. I, I do feel like while this is going on, like if we heard Victor uh, say, you know, this is just a friendly, then I, I do feel like Ford and Callan are going to be overly aggressively cheering for this match. Like, just to balance that out. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. Callan will have given Chonks some of the candies from the backpack to, like, really get Chonks fired up and sugared up, ready to just cheer. Yeah, after her battle, she's loving this. Cow, cow. 
They're like, tear his head off, Victor! Let's just dick off! <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. Chess, not checkers! <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, Victor, do you want to roll initiative? Yes, I would love to do that. I just have so many sheets. Yeah. Uh, I'm many cold dead. Select the token! I'm going to see my token selected. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Yeah. I did it. So, uh, you all can choose your Pokemon, and Victor, you will go first. Okay. Um, Zig Zagoon, why don't you give it a shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can put it up to six out. That's six, so you can pretty much... If you want to move it, you can, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I still have to count like a child. Me too. That's how you then, become good at, at math, and you eventually evolve to a math bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a math baby first. Do I have to roll hers? Yes, please. And Neat. Nate, who are you picking? Who are you throwing out? Bonya. Ah. Counting on you. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, for the rules, bitch. Uh, can we heal mid battle? Uh, you can, but it, that's um, what you would that's do the on turn. your turn. Yeah. Okay. Why he no move farther? Yeah, you can. One, two, three, four. There oh, we go. Giuseppe is here. Yeah. <laughs> He's back. Get him. My buff on cool. Uh, Ponyard's <laughs> defense at their speed is eight, right? Yeah. So. The Overland. His overland is five. No, his, no, his uh, speed is one. Oh, well, roll initiative then. I don't know why. It, that's weird. shouldn't be one. Ooh. It should definitely be higher than one. Oh, what about my evasions? Should they also be higher than one? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't care. It's fine. One yard speed is eight. Oh, well, it's his, a one you on were here. looking at speed evasion. I'm talking about his speed stat. Oh, good. I'm glad that the same word existed more than one yeah. place on the sheet. Yep. That's not just fucking like confusing at all. Just like experience is everywhere and it means everything. Uh, Good. So, Victor, you get to um, give your command first. <laughs> Alright. We'll need all the advantages we can get. Let's do a sand attack. Exactly. And Lord Van Brace. Ponyard, I'm going to have to give you some healing. <laughs> You, uh, you can still, like, have him take a move on his turn. Oh. Oh, excellent. Uh, do I do I do it on my turn, then? I throw him a potion? Yeah. Okay. W whatever one you'll let me give him. Um, you... Uh, I'm rich bitch. All right, we'll, get, we'll do uh, uh, whatever the second one up is, so you can heal him for... Super. I think it's 40. I think... I'll look it up real quick. A super potion is 40. Yeah. So a potion be, is 10. A potion should be 20. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe it is. But yeah, you can heal him 40. Okay. Uh, let's try leering again. All right. And then uh, Ponyard uh, moves forward as Zigzagoon uh, try meets him as well. Uh, roll it up. I can just put him there. Yeah. As far up as you want to go. I don't know the range okay. on Lear. Oh, it's a cone two. Uh, so. It's cone two, but he's got a move in a five, so I'm just going to get right in his little face. And. <laughs> does his little. Blades uh, flurrying in the air. Uh, Zigzagoon is about to throw the sand up, and it takes it takes him, her off guard a little bit. Uh, you will drop her combat, her defense. Down one stage, please, Casey. Okay, okay. It is done. And now it is Zigzagoon's turn. For that sand attack. Sand attack. Do it. Ooh, Ooh she uh, she manages even as um, she steps back and she's taken aback a little bit from this uh, ponyard getting up in her face. She manages to swing her tail around and throw this sand up uh, from the ground into. Uh, 
Ponyard's eyes. So, ground. Hang on, we gotta do type again. Ground attack. Where is that? Ground doesn't exist against steel. What? It does. Oh, it's that's double two, so it's ten minus your defense. Sand attack do damage? Oh, it says it on here. Let me double oh. check. All right. It it doesn't normally, does it? Not in the games, but. Uh, the same. I the can't same see the, the sand play. thing. So you said it was ten damage. And hang on, I'm double checking. Oh yeah, you're right. It does not do damage. So, um, Casey, in your sheet, will you change that damage to zero? The damage base to zero. Oh my God! You don't. What's have the to. effect? Uh, you are blinded until the start of. The target is blinded until the start of their next turn. That should be the. It has to mean the start of Zigzagoon's next turn. Not that's got to be a typo. Target is blinded until the end of their next turn. Is what the says. end of their next turn. Okay, yeah, that's right then. Uh, so, Ponyard is blinded. Does that mean no attacking? Or uh, Correct. Uh, we can look at one of these status... Of, of, what'd you say, uh, Alex? Callan's fully starting a chant in the stands here of Zigzagoon! Zigzagoon! <laughs> and trying to, get all, trying to get all Pokemon to take it up with her. Cha-cha-cha! Manta! <laughs> Victor's Victor's kind of like like hiding a little bit at this. Oh boy. Uh, you hear very very faintly, Victor. Uh, blinded. Tears. Why is it not on the affliction page? How could you do this? I think blinded is an affliction, wouldn't you all? Blindness is under other statuses? Yeah. What does it say? Uh, it nothing. Say? I just clicked on it. Oh, minus six accuracy penalty. DC 10 acro on rough, slow terrain and vulnerable. All right. So that means to hit, you have a negative six. Okay. I've complicated things. <laughs> That's good. I have thrown a wrench in the gears. <laughs> uh, um... Top of the round. Victor. Oh, good job. That was awesome. Um, tackle him. Tackle him, please. Thanks, I get Uh, Lord Van Brace. Draw a fury cutter. <laughs> he says, his voice breaking. Mau Mau looks at you like, Hur? uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Uh, and Ponyard moves forward as as Zigzagoon is about is about to uh, back up so she can do this tackle. Ponyard is um, moving forward. Ponyard goes. <laughs> Yo, Ponyard goes. Yeah, got it. My bad. Y'all are cracking me up. Uh, <laughs> there's a five. I'm very missed. Minus six. Oh, yeah. So, as Ponyard blindly swings out uh, towards towards uh, Zigzagoon, she backs up because I think you have to run to do a uh, tackle. But it, sh so, she moves away. I don't believe you get opportunity attacks. Does that, is that say that in there? Maybe well, certainly not if I can't see that an uh, attack was necessary. Uh, well, you, you might be able to hit, though. A blinded or trainer. I don't see anything. I could check the handbook. <laughs> I it doesn't say that. Yeah, so it she he still gets an attack. He just has a negative six to it, so he can make a struggle attack. Oh, what? That's a zero. It's a zero. So now, actually, hold on. Point of order: yeah. Does the Ponyard's blindness clear at the end of its turn? It, it does. So the struggle is not at a minus six. Yeah, that's true. So it's a six. Okay. Uh, yeah, so normal versus... What is uh, Zigzagoon's type? Dark? Let me check. 
Hand puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet baby. Uh, dark normal. Dark normal. Thanks, Alex, for being on the same exact brain brain cell as me. <laughs> its type is friend. So no change. Oh, it damage. is. So it's 20 minus your defense. 20 minus my defense. 17. And then you can roll that tackle up. Wait, she she just lost 17 hit points? Yes. Okay. Uh, hang on. Uh. Defense is only three? Oof. Currently it's... Wait. What? Oh, what? sorry. Hang on. I did the math wrong. It's <laughs> currently at two. So oh, shit. 18. <laughs> what kind of armor class do you think a hand puppet has? Oh, yeah, she's already weak. Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. As negative. But I'm basically scissors. So that's the worst <laughs> thing. <laughs> 18 equals 32. Sorry. Let me just do math. You gotta name your zigs again Syphil or Ollie. Like. Syphilis? No, Syphil, uh, like Syphil and Ollie? That's what I heard too. I was <laughs> like, what? I thought for sure Tim would know what Syphil and Ollie was. I don't. Does a nine hit your defense? I'm gonna name my Zigzagoon Chlamydia. <laughs> cool. Whose defense? My defense? Yeah, yours. Is it yeah. no pond no, I'm fighting? <laughs> I'm not. I hit my de defense or my evasion? Your evasion, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, yes, uh, so Zigzagoon is still set to GM instead of public, so. Oh, I sorry. didn't know what was happening. I'm so sorry. Oh, what? Why is that to GM? What the? F I'm sorry. Uh, because that's the default state. So it's 19. It was minus... a wild Pokemon. 19. <laughs> yeah, minus good defense. gravy. And you're pushed. Two meters. Shit. Yeah. You get pushed. two meters. It's Ponyard. Two meters is a square. Three. You say one. two meters is seven. Two meters is one square. One meter is, is one square. Sorry. So Minecraft rules. Got it. Yeah, just worry about just squares. Everything that's a number, just assume it's squares. Everything. Check. Course. <laughs> Damage squares. It's in a square. Oh. Uh, top of the round. Okay. Yeah. Is mm, come squares? Is come squares a thing? Yeah, it's, it's when Why you did you go it. there immediately? Because come straws was kind of close, and so never mind. I'm leaving. You'd have to mold <laughs> it or freeze it. <laughs> I was molded <laughs> by the come squares. <laughs> you were, well, you were merely adopted the come straws. I was just born by it. <laughs> I was already a man before I saw pre come. I was already a bastard. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> Energy. Lettuce leaf? <laughs> hey, did you know... What? If Hold you, on, is that a cat joke? Did you know if you boiled cabbage or uh, that you could roll it up like a burrito? Yeah, are you just giving cooking tips with Austin now? Yeah. Casey, you gotta you gotta just jump in here. <laughs> this is, oh, yeah. It's your turn. Victor, it's uh, your turn to yell Pokemon shit. Uh, do, do another tackle, maybe? Exactly. I don't know if that's right. She starts to move forward. Uh, Lord Vanbrace. Fury Cutter. Yeah. Uh, pu puts his feet toward in the ground, digs them in, and moves forward towards Zigzagoon. Ponyard's up first. Roll it Attack. Up. Seven. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Zeben. So this is the first time it's hit, so it's 21 minus mm -hmm. your defense. I don't think there's a type advantage, bug versus normal. I think I've already checked this six times, yeah, and I'm going to do correct. it again. No, it's good. All right. Yeah. So 21 minus 2 is 19. 21. So 32 minus 19. 13. Oh, boy. Uh-uh. What, whoa? <laughs> And then if she's still up, Zigzagoon's turn. Okay, and that tackle. Oh, no. That AC's negative one. It's so. a, a, it's a botch. Yeah. Uh, Ponard steps out of the way as uh, Zigzagoon tries to um, 
ram her her head into his midsection. Back to the top of the round. Uh, oh boy. Um, maybe try that sand attack again. Exactly. Lord Vambrace. Finish it, Ponyard. Pon. Fury Cutter again. Swings his sword, his blades. Another eight. Oof. So that'll be a 33. As these um, blades slice past the fur of Zigzagoon, you see um, just him getting, her, her getting sliced up. She's um, ducking down lower and lower and Eventually, Ponar just comes up and stands above Zigzagoon with swirls in her eyes. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Crap. I'm sorry. I will recall her quickly. <laughs> and he's like, he's going to like hold the Pokeball and be like, I'm so sorry. I'll heal you up and I'll, I'll, I'll give you lots of pets and, and treats. And I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. Spoons. I <laughs> think you're up. Three, four, five, six. So spoons can be right in Ponard's face, but he can also be back any, anywhere. But if you want to roll initiative for him. Isn't it? I got to close six seconds page and roll for the spoons, boy. See, this is why it rolls it, because... Oh, never mind. I thought... I was very wrong in thinking spoon speed was an eight. And it was just going to roll it to see who went first out of that. But no, Spoons is very He's Alex. a fast motherfucker. <laughs> Alex. We got to do yeah. spoon, Spoons Cheers. <gasps> spoons Cheers. No Spoons! 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 <laughs> uh, spoons looks... Scoop his fucking brains out! <laughs> As you say that, Spoons looks over towards you. And Victor, you feel something brush past your hair. And you see that uh, spoon that was welded fl floating in this purple light towards spoons. And he just reaches his hand up behind him and grabs it out of the air. Wow. Anime that's, as fuck. Yeah, that's badass. Oops. Talon is fully on her knees screaming like, ah, that he did that. <laughs> uh, so at, at some point Ford is like cheering and stuff, but then Callan just gets so like wild with it that Ford just stops and starts staring at Callan. <laughs> like, oh my god. Ford, do you think Callan might be two seconds away from tearing her shirt off? She's so excited. <laughs> Wait, you mean she's gonna go full Austin at wrestling? Full Austin at wrestling. <laughs> you gotta. If you go to a wrestling event. Always go full Austin. <laughs> Victor up. All right. Um. Well, I don't know if that spoon really does anything for you. <laughs> hit him with it. I don't know. Do hit him. <laughs> Lord Vanbrace. Leah. Uh, spoons moves forward. Uh, you want to roll a struggle or anything? Yeah. 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 He has a psychic attack. You have a psychic attack. Uh, there's a 13 hit. Oh, yeah. Spoons just whop, smacks Ponard across the face with this spoon. Uh, <laughs> Dylan, 15 minus your defense. It's, it's non typed. Yeah. So. Uh, All right. Ponyard does the blade uh, flurry swipes in front of Spoons. Um, and Spoons is confused. They can't seem to uh, find a way to get his spoon back into attack. And it, uh, its combat stages will be lowered by 1D. The, the defense was... Crit on Lear. Oh, was it crit? Yeah. Doesn't does mean anything. anything. Nope. No. Back to the top of the raft. Oops, that's a plus one, not a minus one. <laughs> Spoons versus knives. Continue with Fury Cutter. Uh, 
Oh, I went before Casey, my bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's me? Victor's up. It is it's supposed to be Victor first, sorry. Oh. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Me neither. I don't know where I went, but I did go somewhere for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, tr uh, whoa. I don't know if you want to do that tackle thing on him. He's kind of sharp. Um, do the spoon backhand again. That was cool. <laughs> And then Lord Vambrace. You're ready, Kata. Alright, Spoons. Spoons. Oh, sorry. Goes I back in. Yeah, too. no, that was right. Goes back in with the. Manages to get past even all these blades swirling around. And, uh. Thunk Ponard right in the, uh. In the forehead with the spoon again. Uh, so it'll be 16 minus your defense. And you and Ponard's up with Fury Cutter. Eight. And Ponard swings in. Uh, slicing, slicing spoons up a little bit. Spoons tries to deflect some of it with the, uh, with his spoon, but not great. Ching, ching. Oh, wait a second. Very not great. That damage is doubled. Oh, right, because he's a bug. So it's 50 minus your defense. Uh... Oh, where the hell is the hit points? Okay, 50. Defense is 3. That's a 248. Oh, God, that's a, that's, that's an instant KO. <laughs> Uh, so as Spoons is m moving the, uh, <laughs> moving the spoon around block and, uh, as many as these blade swipes in as it can, uh, it's too furious. And as the smoke clears, Ponyard again is turned, uh, with his arms crossed over, over Spoons and Spoons has swirls in his eyes. Uh, Ford's going to look at Cal and be like, no. I had a good one too. You brought a knife to a spoon fight. <laughs> Damn it! Oh man, that would have been say, such a good one. I know. I'm saving <laughs> that for later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely put that in the back pocket. <laughs> um, Victor's gonna run out and just like bundle spoons up and just be like, "I'm sorry, bud. Uh, Got too cocky. I'm sorry." He rolls into your arms a little bit, still oh. unconscious. Beautifully done. A very, very valiant effort. You just didn't have the time. A, a psychic attack might have helped. Yeah, I don't... I don't think he knows any. I, well, I mean, maybe he does. I don't know. I... Yeah. I, I got a lot to learn. Thank you, though. That was a great battle. Your Ponyard's really... Really something. Um, I think Victor's going to walk over and try and shake your hand. Oh, of course. <laughs> Spoons is unable to fight. Ponyard is the winner. Oh, would you stop? Well, he flies back down into your pocket. It's a friendly competition. It's not necessary. Um, so Paul's going to, like, he recalls Ponyard and uh, walks over to everybody and says, this, this Wonderful. Um, uh, Callan, uh, you've earned this. And uh, holds out uh, a little badge that looks just like the uh, like the pen, pen, uh, medallion, there we go, that he's wearing. It's just a, it's like a circle with a, a, like a line through it and a thing in the middle. Not a Pokeball, though, just a different thing. Um, it's the, it's the, the crest of the Vambrace estate. You'll see, you've seen it everywhere. Um, and uh, for all of you, um, here, I've got some items that may be helpful for you. Uh, you can choose between you uh, who would like what. This is really just a thanks, but also a bit of a consolation prize. Uh, okay, what are we, what are we choosing from? Uh, so uh, this is uh, a cut. This is a metal claw, and this is a... Uh, I forget what it's called. Metal coat. 
metal coat. I was like, sheath? Metal sheath? That's not it. Metal coat. What do we what do we do with them? Sweet. Well, the metal coat is an item that you can use to evolve certain species of Pokemon. Um, metal claw and cut are both uh, attacks that uh, some Pokemon can oh. learn. Uh, Helen's okay. grabbing the medallion thing and being like, "Hey, thanks!" and like shoving it in a side pocket of her backpack. Uh, Don't I, lose that. Uh, I, that will get you entrance to a world coronation. Count will look at Chomps and be like, don't lose compete. that. Yeah. Okay, uh, Ford's going to grab Metal Claw and, and be like, no, this is awesome, thanks. Uh, Callum, what do you want? Uh, 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 whatever you guys don't want. Uh, I want the claw. I got it already. Oh, I'll take cut. That works. Unless, oh. Victor, you want it. No, go ahead. All right, sweet. Uh, thank and you. And then he'll hand metal coat to uh, Victor. Thank you. And to the Victor go the sport. Uh, no, that was a good one. <laughs> I did like Little that one. joke there. <laughs> that was yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> well, it's um, it's about time for dinner. Uh, we could start by the poker center first, of course. And, sweet. You know the the one that we have inside. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, Retired oh, yeah. Nurse Joy. <laughs> right above the dungeon and in front of the army. We don't have a dungeon or an army. Fathers, look. It's just, uh, they, they, he is aging. And... Oh, whatever, that dude rules. And then Ford's going to turn around and walk Oh, up. agreed. Yeah. Certainly. <laughs> gonna go He's carrying him. a hone edge like this, by the way. Didn't go back in the wall. He's just <laughs> folding him. <laughs> As you guys walk back, all your Pokemon get healed up, uh, and you go to dinner. Uh, Lord Vambrace, this is, you know, an hour later. He's um, he's joined you guys for dinner, and there's a tattoo artist. Um, oh, you mean dinner. Duke Vambrace? Duke Vambrace, yes, sorry. Uh, there's a tattoo artist with you guys, and through the whole dinner, he's just getting a tattoo of the of that quote that Fort told him. During dinner? <laughs> Like between between every course, you just you just hear. <laughs> you can do anything when you are rich. Yeah, that's true. A, a tattoo at dinner is nothing. Uh, it looks other than father. unsanitary. Yes, for you. Ford, that's true. Ford Ford looks at Callan and Victor and be like, "Are we gonna do it? What? I'm gonna go get a tattoo." What are you getting a tattoo of? That's so cool. Whoa. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I know what I'm going to get. A full chest piece of Posey. What? Oh, well, I was just thinking Posey's name. Oh, that that. Oh. Cuz you know, that's like you know, she's, she's the one that started it. So Commit harder. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to go get Posey's name, name tattooed on my arm. And he runs over to the tattoo artist. Aww. He looks over at you. What? This, what's he look like? He's got a skull tattooed over his face. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. He called me off the streets. But I got clean stuff. I'm all legit. You're also right in front of me, and I think this rich dude will probably pay for it. So let's do it. Of course. All right, his money's good here. Your arm is good. Well, this isn't how I expected the night to end, but... <laughs> what anyone sure. else like a tattoo? Tattoos all around. Yes. <laughs> Who else gets a tattoo? I'm debating it, but also it's a fire poke on mine. It would be way cooler to, like, brand it into your skin. I also do branding. Fuck yeah, let's go! <laughs> I got a 3D brander. I the just... retired nurse Joy comes out and she's like, she like rolls her sleeve up and finds just a little bit of blank space. She's covered <laughs> like neck to <laughs> neck to ankles like a Yakuza member. <laughs> but it's all traditional Japanese style. This Pokemon is like Gyarados, like 
you know, in the waves and like Magikarp and shit. It's fucking rad. Hell yeah. You guys have anything you want to talk about at dinner? My sweet what is for dinner? Oh, what's for dinner? Uh, yeah, blanche, what's for dinner? Chikorita and uh Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That's I'm kidding. Of course not. Gross. But we do not eat that there. This is slow poke tail. No. No, it's okay. They eat it. Who who's oh, they? Slow poke. They eat each Wait, other's tails. What? Hold on, they're a cannibal Pokemon? They grow them back. Oh, wait, they eat their own tails? Yes, and they're the delicacy. This there is are, true. It is in it are, is canon in the anime. A reverse. <laughs> a reverse. Alan's going to lean over to Victor and be like, this guy's insane. Yeah, I was... Like well, I'm not alone in thinking that. I'm not eating... Oh, oh, mmm... I'm not hungry anymore. It is. There's other things. There's these berries. I'll eat the berries. There's a, I don't know. Poke it's apple. just. So. It's actually course after course of curries. One of them Why can't we just have tail. spaghetti? You Everywhere spaghetti. we go, nobody wants to do spaghetti. Why can't we just have spaghetti? Make us some spaghetti. Our guests would like spaghetti. Ralphie? Yes, this is the best dinner ever. I am a, I'm a knight, sir. I don't care. Make a night of spaghetti. spaghetti. You are now the spaghetti knight. Take your noodle sword. Just, just looking up what the food was in Galler, and it's all curry. <laughs> That's all I did. <laughs> Put some spaghetti in the curry. Maybe that, that'll do. Curry Sp spaghetti. Yes. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yeah, geniuses. All I them. was going to say Kurgetti, but uh, <laughs> oh, no, I like Kurgetti better. My son is a, a the genius of geniuses. I love you so much, son. I'm oh, a... I love you too, Papa. Uh, Charles, tell uh, Frank. This is. I'll tell you, Frank. You're right beside me. Give me a tattoo <laughs> of my son's name on my neck, right here, or whatever you say. You got it, dude. You got it, Duke. <laughs> ah, Paul and... gets a uh, a love disc with, and it just says "Papa." <laughs> hey, hey, Duke. Hey, Duke. Yes. What if, what if you got Paul on your fist? Ah, scratch it out of my neck, Frank, <laughs> and put it on my fist. Paula, right, put an A on the end and then put a line through it. That was my ex before my wife. That's how we'll fix it. You named that. your son after yeah, your ex? Uh, don't, no, my don't. wife named him. Yeah, Callan, don't. After your ex? She, nope. They were sisters. Oh, <laughs> no, they weren't. I'm, Wait, what? Hang I'm on, sorry. back up. That back is wrong. Up. Nope. There's nope, a whole, you've said nope. the words. Mm -mm, don't do this. I don't, don't, have don't open this can unless, of worms. Unless Ford physically stops her, this is going to continue. <laughs> I have no sister. No, no, you didn't have a sister. She what? had a sister, and you slept with what? one, and then slept with the other one. What Where did that happen? I married one of them. Yeah, and you slept with the other one? No, she was just my girlfriend when I was six. Okay, well, I guess we don't have to go into the technicalities of it, but why did you name your son after your ex, who is also your wife's sister? My son's name is no. not Paula. No, no it's, it's the Pauldron. male version of it. No. no, it's not. It's Pauldron. Yes. Mm, I feel like it's a little close for comfort. I am comfortable That's a with family my name. Son. Yes. My th father's name was Pauldron. Grandpapa Pauldron. Is Wait, yes. on your side or on her side? Yes. But They're both Pat Pauldrons. Pauldrons. Yes. <laughs> so, but his daughter wasn't named after... No, she named... He did name his daughter after him. Pauldron Sr. Pauldron... Grandpa Pauldron... Named. Take me to the tree painted on your wall that Come shows me. me the family lives. Come to the dungeon. I it's in the dungeon. Thank God. <laughs> we don't <laughs> have a dungeon. He's, uh, he's taking We're you to We're going to go closet. find the dungeon. Here. He opens the door. Inside you see when they leave. a broom. <laughs> ah, somebody <laughs> must have moved it. Shit. 
This keeps happening. Wait, do you have a dungeon or not? I'm so confused. Of course. No. This is a castle, is it not? This Dungeons, castle. no Dragonites. Where the fuck are we? The castle was built 15 years ago. There's no dungeon. There's... Why not? The they have dungeon technology. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Alex was so mad she froze. <laughs> I am. I'm still livid. Oh, Litwick. No, livid. Oh, sorry. I'm, my hearing is going <laughs> too. As well as my mind. And he smiles. When when Callan and Papa come back, Paul is getting Vambrace on his knuckles in Old English. <laughs> that's sick. Son, that's fucking sick, bro. It's fucking sick, isn't it, Father? Yes. Knuckles. It says Paul on it now. Love you. Uh, no, I no, it, it hurts. I'm not... Uh, be careful. Love you too, but I'm not fist bumping right now. You didn't it get hurts. the cream? As this is happening, he's still, Victor's he's still doing it. Like, maybe we should go soon. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. like, we need to head to Pewter City. Yeah. I'm tired of playing pauldrons and dragons. <laughs> Clever. Genius on all of you. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take our spaghetti to go. Uh, we got a long... Was... We got three what days would you say your spaghetti policy is here? Take as, Spaga take as Spagalacy. much as you eat, eat as much as you take. Oh, you can carry. Yes. Yes. Very generous we are. You, we have extra rooms. You didn't want to stay the night? Or... Yes, we the full rest. Now, we got to go find uh, Jeremy or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, Jules, yes. A long, a long trek in front of us, so we should probably get to moving. Yeah, thank you for the offer, though. Yeah. Uh, and the spaghetti. And yeah. the battle and stuff, and uh -huh. it was fun. And the tattoos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Maybe I'll did you see get you one again? Oh, I forgot. That. Uh, no, my my grandma would probably uh, kill me. Yes, so get... I'm good, thanks. Okay. Anytime. You what if you one got one like... that said grandma? Oh. 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 What if you I don't, don't sell that? <laughs> oh. uh... well, Duke's being cheeky again. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll see you at the World Coronation Series. Oh yeah, I hope so. I hope we make it back, and and are able to compete. That would oh. rule. Yes, I will see you. If all I see time. you there before it starts, I'll you know we'll try again, and maybe maybe you'll be in. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Yeah, next time. And as our uh, as our trainers and their Pokemon separate from their new friend and enter into Viridian City. Uh. Who knows what will be next on their journey? We'll have to find out next time. On Late Starters. That's it. Dragon Ball Z. Dragons. Right? <laughs> Pokeball Z. Dragon. <laughs> Makes. Okay, mama. You can catch more of me at CZ Drop on Twitter. Or twitch.tv slash CZ Drop. You know, I stream d and every other Sunday at... 11 American Eastern Time or 10 Canadian Central Time uh, in the morning. That's where you can find me at. Tim. Hey, I'm Tim. You can find me at Remo Beware on Twitter or in a much better place, horsegirls.club because I do a podcast called Horse Girls. You may have heard of it. It's pretty good. What about you, Casey? Hi, I'm Casey. Um, I'm some places on the internet. You should check out my link tree, which is L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash KCD Studios for finding me places. But most importantly, I uh, write and draw a webcomic called B-Side You, and you can read that for free at B-S-I-D-E-Y-O-U comic dot com. And if you read it and you like it, you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash KCD Studios, and help me support making the comic. And otherwise, check out Animorphs Anonymous, which I do with Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. I wanted to bring the energy that Tim brought here. So here we are. You can find me on Twitter at Alex and Birds and TikTok at Alex and Birds. Now, I have no videos. Congrats. You can still find me. Uh, literally, just find me on all the things I do with these fine people. I'm on Dungeons and Dragon Beams, Horse Girls with Tim and Jenna. 
and with Casey on, at Animorphs Anonymous, and then a few other side projects, some of them that are on hiatus right now, like Soup Salad Sandwich and Cat Mystic Crisis, a Superboy podcast. And those are most of the places you can find me. The others, you win a prize if you find me there. I brought a ton of energy. I don't know what you're talking about. It was, the, it was the way you started. Energy. You turned to the camera. You're like, hi, my name is Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Very Mr. Rogers. You could start late, but at least you're starting. Okay, bye.